And joining us now, uh, what a warm start, but I heard you earlier today talking about how different the end of this week will be. Sherry, we'll have a taste of almost every season within the next seven days, starting with the feels of maybe late spring, early summer today, followed by fall midweek and then winter for the weekend. This now a live look from our Storm Team Tower Cam from the BJCC looking over the Magic City. Temperatures today topped out at 85 degrees. That is a new record set here in Birmingham. Our previous record was 82 set back in 2005. We blasted through that record by lunchtime today. Now, although temperatures tomorrow will be warm, we'll flirt with record heat, but I'm not sure we'll quite get there. Temperatures across the map, 61 right now in Gadsden, 64 in Asheville. We have lower 70s from Tuscaloosa to Moundville at this hour. So a mild night is underway. Temperatures will remain in the 60s, even with that clearing sky. A light wind out of the northeast keeping things dry for us tonight and revisiting the timeline for the lunar eclipse. You either are going to stay up late or get up early, but it peaks at right around 5 a.m. I would set the alarm for about 445. Now, the one thing about a lunar eclipse, it's a long experience, so it starts at about 202 and it ends close to 8 a.m. But at the peak, that moon will turn a rust color. All right, let's talk about your election day forecast for tomorrow in the mid 60s is where we'll start our morning. Temperatures will be in the low 70s by 9 o'clock, followed by mid to upper 70s as we near lunch hour low 80s through the afternoon and we'll go from 80s early this week to the fields of fall Thursday, Friday and Saturday much more seasonable towards the end of the week and then look at the drop in these numbers. Those highs will be in the 50s. Keep in mind our morning lows will barely be in the 50s for the next four days and then our highs are going to be in the upper 40s to low 50s this weekend. That cold air will be racing in this weekend, followed by those very frigid morning lows Sunday and Monday morning. And here's what's happening. Look at this cold front, quite extreme. We literally have polar air that's going to be racing in from the northwest, and that will be fenced in by this cold front. Friday morning, Billings, Montana, zero degrees, whereas we'll be in the 60s. And then as we move into Friday night into Saturday morning, our temperatures will be falling into the low 40s. And look at the temperatures to our west, Oklahoma City at 33 degrees. Some spots Saturday may even be hard pressed to climb out of the upper 40s. Now, while temperatures might be falling for us this weekend, tropics are still heating up. We have subtropical storm Nicole expected to become a weak category one hurricane as it makes landfall in southeast Florida before veering back to the northeast. Not going to provide much wet weather for Alabamians and that's because of this extreme jet stream and that's what's going to be bringing us that colder air. Dry for the rest of this week, a nice Veterans Day on Friday and then turning breezy and chillier as we move into the weekend. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.